What's up everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to a video that I feel like it was inevitable for it to happen and I wanted to make it because <laughs> Don't You Want Song's video came out not even like an hour and I've already been asked by someone to make a video on this track to try it out. So he's made a whole new track that uh, it's, it's a whole new map actually. It's not even just a track. It's a whole map that he created uh, where he kind of put together the world of Forza Horizon 5 and the world of Trackmania and kind of morphed them into an unreal track. I'll put a link to his video and his channel down in the description box below. Go click that, go check it out, um, and then you can probably come back and watch this video as well afterwards if you want to, or you can just stay and watch this video. And you'll still get the uh, the actual track with the uh, share code so you can try it out for yourselves as well. But yeah, anyway. I need to try it. I need to see what it's like. It's going to be the Sesto Elemento. This is my Kevlar Sesto Elemento that I have here for the edition. Uh, I also have a tune for it, which I'm going to use pretty much the exact same tune that he used in his video. And it's a tune by Travis. We all know Travis. He does some ridiculous things with the tunes for the cars. Um, and uh, I will, like I said, even show you the tunes themselves. Um, so let me find some new tunes. Let's check out. This is a tune for the Sass Solamento. So you guys can try and use the exact same one. 214-157-535. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Slap it on. Easy stuff. Right, cool. Next up, I want to try the track. Now, there's two share codes for this track that I want to try. Uh, well, one of them is obviously going to be a practice version of it. And the other one's going to be a normal one. The practice one has rewinds and I also kind of want to just try and have a little look around and see the world that he's created and then I'll go and I'll try and do this track so the entirety of this track can be driven at full speed how sick is that it can be driven at full speed <laughs> I want to say it again because it's mad so so this go to share code uh Hello? <laughs> it loaded the stuff in the background so slowly that I got rid of my, my little cursor thing. Anyway, track with the rewinds, the practice version of the track, 774-164-996. And there it is. There it is. There is the practice version of it. Going into solo, and uh, let's have a little look around and see what happens here, because I, feel like, uh, I feel like this is going to be a little bit weird. If you haven't seen Dodge Run Song's video yet, you gotta be taken back a little bit, I'm telling you now. By the absolute ridiculousness of this track. I, mean, I just wanna see it. I just wanna see it, where it starts you off and just what it looks like. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I can already hear the speed boosters on the truck. But yeah, the entirety of this track can be done at full speed. This is pretty much what it looks like. The whole track is kind of like this. Sorry, not kind of. It is like this. And it's not as... Uh, as easy as you may think. Because it will get to a point where you're going to have to be very, very accurate. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh my god! That's insane. I love that you have... I knew that wasn't going to happen. I, I started off it so slowly. I knew that wasn't going to happen. Wait, 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 wait. Can I go? I don't know if I can do it. No, I can't. Can I? I can go into photo mode. That is the best I can do here. I kind of wanted to go into... One second, let me get rid of this. This temperature tent here. That I have. And then make everything back to standard-ish. This is the best I can do to look around. There's no, like, drone camera or anything. That is mad. So I, I get to drive on all of that. It looks ridiculous. There's speed boosts everywhere on the map, like I said. So you're able to get... You're able to basically stay over 200 miles an hour consistently on this track. There's also that ramp that you see over there in the distance. That is, I'm pretty sure, where the finish line is. All right. I, I want to I wanna continue, though. I want to continue and, uh, and keep going. Wait, can I go all the way back? Before I smash into the tires. I want to try to do, by the end of this video, I want to try to do an entire full run on... Uh, on this track, so basically... 
try to go from start to finish in one take, basically. It's of course very much possible. Just need. <laughs> yeah, I'm way so I'm to so far to the left. That is so sketchy. I of course want to do this all in one take because that is that is the main goal, right? Oh, too far to the right. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Sketchy, but good. Okay. Well, I didn't go flat out. Well, I went flat out there. And I, I, my driving line was terrible. If you go wide and then in and... There you go. Oh, he says there you go as he flies off the map. Maybe I do need to lift off slightly. Or maybe I just need to drive a little bit better. But yeah, it's just your, your driving line needs to be perfect. That's the, that's the whole point of this, right? The whole point of this track is... For you to be able to, uh, to go flat out everywhere, right? And make it as... Uh, Make it as accurate as possible with the way you drive. Like here, for example. Yeah, I don't know if I have to lift off at some points, but surely not, right? I think I'm pretty sure you have to go flat out everywhere. This thing's ridiculous, by the way. Considering this isn't Forza Horizon 5, right? This isn't. This isn't track. Oh, I skip. Why did I skip so much? I lifted off slightly because I thought I was gonna fully fly off here. When you get a speed boost right before... When you get a speed boost right before uh, a corner, it really throws you off. This thing handles like an absolute champ, by the way. <laughs> this is all about this. Oh my god, okay. And the the way that the, the traction changes, obviously, when you're on like a... On like a... a, a I don't even know, like an angled path or like an angled road like this. It's crazy. The amount of grip I have, like turning to the left versus turning to the right here on this is is insane. It's complete oh my god. It's completely different. So This is hard. Okay, how am I oh it's because I'm going off the top. I'm i I'm dumb. I need to go off the side. There you go. Well more to the left, but basically that. Okay, imagine if I went on this track. God. Imagine I went on this track completely blind, and you're like, go ahead, go complete it. There's also targeted times, apparently. So you can you can get a time and uh, compare it to other content creators as well, which is very, very sick. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere, in, and this is the end. Where, where you land right... Well, can I land in it? Hopefully. Yeah, I think I can. Okay. Okay. At least I know what I have to do. 215 with lots of rewinds and lots of bad driving. Okay. I think we're ready for the full track. I think we're ready for the, for the main track itself. The one that saves your times. No rewinds. None of that. I think we're ready for it. I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for it. I'm just going to do I have to do it. I have to do a few a few runs with it. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Main track itself. 451. 736816 is the shortcut for the actual. Okay, it didn't save because it loaded slowly. 451. 736816. There it is. I'm going to give that a little favorite. There's. It's got 40 plays so far. 57 likes. Good. All right. <clears throat> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to try, like I said, do a few runs here. I'm going to try, obviously, to, to finish it, right? I'm going to try to, to do the best for, like, I possibly can. But I have to, I have to finish it. Alright. I'm going to shut up, I think, and I'm going to, like, just mentally prepare myself to do this so I don't make any mistakes. First mistake. <laughs> the speed boost really throws me off. It really, really does.
How did I go so far to the right? It's like I've tried to like position myself for for a racing line that just does, uh, doesn't need to be there. The tap off the tires is a bit annoying. I'm gonna keep going though. The boost right before a turn is just so off putting. I don't think I'm landing this. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, the boost right before a, a, a turn is incredibly off-putting. Because <clears throat> it changes your FOV fully, right? It just changes the way your... Your car picks up speed. So it's uh, it's really, really off-putting. I had to really concentrate for, for this. To do this perfectly. What's my distance? Seventy-seven percent. That was. <laughs> it was better. It was definitely better. Slowly getting the hang of it though. That was that was better. It's still not the cleanest of runs because my drug limit was still a little iffy. But it it definitely was a lot better than the first first few runs that I've done. The thing is though. It's not that difficult to complete. But if I want to have... Oh, wait, there's like medals. Wait, I didn't even realize the times. Wait, I'm looking at them now. 2.13 is the DJS medal. Oh! That's actually sick! I didn't realize that... I didn't realize that there were times there as well. I got distracted. <laughs> so I have to restart again. Uh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> like I was like, nope, no more. <laughs> That's enough of that. Back to the start with you. Sketchy. This isn't the cleanest for runs, but we'll do it for now. It's very, very sketchy.
Oh, 88%. That's a new PB. It's not even that far off the end, actually. That is, that is a new PB. Okay. It was a bit iffy earlier on, but I still, we got there. We got there. We got there, we got there, we got there. That is a new PB. No, that is the furthest we've gotten so far. I think I'm too far to the left. Try to reposition a little bit. Nah. Yeah. Um, there's so many tiny, tiny little movements in your, like, in the correction of this thing. If you make just a tiny bit too much correction or a little bit too much steering or something, it's it's over. You can you can just cancel your run. It's in in, in the wrong spot. It's terrible. Like in the wrong spot, if you if you're not positioned properly in the middle of the track, or if you go off one of these ramps slightly angled, the the car won't land straight. It, it'll land like with one wheel first, and then it'll grip up. So you won't position yourself straight for the next like jump and stuff like that. Or if you're trying to hit like a, a speed boost and stuff like that after a corner, it just again it just throws you off so much. So there's so many like little things you need to be careful of when doing this. And, uh, yeah, it's all due to, to how much correction you're doing with your, your steering. Like, it's so minimal. And I am on sim steering because you're supposed to be on sim steering, but it's so minimal, the little corrections that you have to do. That was a lot better on that corner. It started turning in a lot earlier. That's probably why. Yeah, that one. This that, that one pisses me off, man. That that one right there is the most annoying one. You have to be perfect in the middle of the track, but if you like, when you're staying and you, if you let go a tiny bit early, you're screwed because the boost is so early after the corner. If it was just a little bit later after the corner, the boost, it would be perfect. But it's so early after the corner that if you, if you're not already positioned in the middle of the track, after you finish turning, like perfectly in the middle of the track. Um, <laughs> it's over. Like, you just get sent into the tire wall. It's, it's so, it's so demanding on what you have to do in that position. It's not that difficult. You just have to position yourself properly. That's it. At that point, you just have to be in a perfect position to go in a straight line right between the tires. I'm also trying to worry about my, my driving line as well. You can see I'm, I'm going to try to get a little bit closer and closer to the inside and stuff like that, like trying to position myself to drive line because I feel like that'll help with the time that I'll get at the very end. So I want to still get a bit of time, you know. See, jump on the outside so I can turn in. Okay, not bad. Good landing, it's still in the middle. I don't, don't have to do any corrections here. Still in the middle. It's good. Very good. Slightly to the right, but that's okay. Oh, you can go flat out for those. There you go. That's pretty much what that looks like. I have to start turning in so much earlier, though. Okay, it's this one again. Try to position in the center. Pretty good. Flat out again, a little wide there. I did, did get a little bit sketchy, but... Okay. Be careful with this one here, as soon as I turn. On that side, perfect. Landing's a bit too far to the right! Oh! That was a good run. That was a good run. I tried to stay far to the right. <laughs> <laughs> After I exited the corners, because I knew that, that that little thing was there, the wall was there in the way. <laughs> so I stayed too far to the right afterwards as well, which I did try not to. It's the next bit I have to go left and then right.
Very weird landing. Really threw me off. That's okay. It just landed like front end, like pointing into the ground. Very strange. Oh, sorry, the jump was weird. It's just the way it landed. It's just like it's, my front end, my front end was like pointed into the floor. I don't know what's going on over there, but it's okay. We've recovered. Come on. What was that time? What was that time? Oh! <laughs> He's only gonna beat him. That, I did beat him, right? His, his was 213, like 2 something. Or, oh. That was I, such a weird start, though. The way, like, I wanna watch this again. I wanna see if it's the same in the. I think it's just the way the car took off, and the front end was, like, pointed downwards when I landed. Instead of like landing like smoothly in like a straight line, as it should, it kind of landed. See, like here, bonk, and that slowed me down. And then from then on, <laughs> those few, those were so sketchy at the start. Those few were like super super sketchy because it throw it like threw me off so <laughs> so much. Sorry, and uh, the car was just bouncing left and right from then. It's fine then. We recovered and somehow got a got a decent time out of it as well. I tried to like position myself for the driving line to be really, really good as well. This one here, I I, I don't know why, because early on I was like, there's no way you can take this one flat out, but you can. This one I took fully flat out. You start steering as soon as the the, the track just changes, and as, as long as you're on the inside, you have a really, really good line. Um. And then for the rest of them, I just kind of tried to stay close to, close enough to the wall, but just not not close enough that it would be sweaty. Here, as well, I went flat out on this one, and as soon as I got to the top here, I was like, I'm going way too close to the outside, so I lifted off just the tiniest bit. I think even there, I probably could go flat out in, in a very, very specific way. I need to position myself a little better. Here, I boosted towards the left a little bit, so I can get more of a, a lineup for this. Flat out for that. That was no issues. Obviously flat out here. Again, try to position myself the best possible way. Here, I position myself to the right. And then just dart it across. Instead of having a, a further line. Here, now... I don't know how I didn't crash there. That was super, super close. And then the rest of it was pretty straightforward. It was quite easy. But obviously this last bit, you just kind of try to around. Try to position yourself towards the middle. So you hit the, the finish line. That's pretty much it. That was a good run. I'll take that. I will take that. I don't know what time I actually ended up getting. So for people that are... Oh, sorry, not me. But I don't remember what time Don Juan Song got. Um, but I want to... Uh, I want to say huge shout out to him. The track was sick. Like I said, try it out. The track's uh, share codes will be down in the description box below. You can try to practice one or the regular one that I'm doing now and you can see what sort of time you get. You should be able to beat my time because you saw how 
sketchy I drove, and in some areas pretty poorly, but I think you can beat my time. No problem. Um, Travis is doing as well. It will be down in the description box below, so you guys can try it out. And of course, Dodge One Song's channel and video will be down there as well, so you guys can check the original video out where he showed it off. That's pretty much it. It was a solid challenge. It took a little while to do. I don't know how many attempts it actually took me to do. I'll say about 20 or so attempts uh, to, to get this one done. So it was definitely a challenge. I probably should have spent a little bit more time on the practice track, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.